Funny. Yeah, I'm gonna be late. <sighs> if anyone asks why I still go to these things, I just go because it's a good system. I, uh, I just do a lot of things because it looks cool. Well, it's not more than just it looks cool. This is the type of stuff that doesn't appear to produce any obvious value to anyone, but does in the long run with the right positive flow. Cash job. You can't make any money with sales and alone, right? That's why I tend to invest in these types of things. See, I was like thinking, right? I, my mom, I talked to my mom a while back about like what I would, what I would have done if I didn't go to college immediately. And I'm thinking this is what I would have done, right? I would have tried to get more, more skills to sell myself. Cause you can't just go to school and expect stuff to pay off. It never works like that. No, you can't just get a degree and expect things to work out for you. People have this weird mind mentality. And that's why I was thinking about if, if people just do or die for school so badly, I think they're going to they're gonna consider starting a business to form a right-wing terrorism, right? No, seriously. My mom was, like, threatening to shoot up a bank, right? And was threatening to kill me if I didn't go to school. Right? It's just threatening to kick you out. Not not directly, but that there's just so much pressure to go to school because... Right, he's like, well, how else are you going to make a living? Everyone's putting so much emphasis on school. Everyone does. Right, the schools, everything. And that kind of pressure is what creates terrorism. If, if, if poked the wrong way. Like the worst kind of terrorism. It's like Hotel Rwanda. It, it, it's, it's like people just ignore that. Right, I, I saw that kind of danger over there. I, didn't, I was afraid to say anything, to speak out. It doesn't help the employer. <laughs> you think the employer can just give you a finite return? Right? They, they talk as if the employer is just going to fart out gold. <laughs> I, I don't think that's how people work in real life, man. Seriously. I, I, you, no, seriously. No, no, this is the problem I have with society. They just pressure people to do shit. But when you do shit, there's no guarantee of a return in our monetary society when there should be. Right, and, and a lot of these rich people, they, they like being friends of the school board, and there's like, well, there must be return here, right? Like the moment you're friends of the rich people, it's like all, all the all the poorer people act like rats, and they just all go right there. They're like, they're they act like wasps. They just all hover around the rich guy, right? Like, oh, he's gonna give me some gold, right? <laughs> I don't know. Right, it's a it's a high pressure situation for the person going to school and the employer. And the fact that parents in the school board allowed this power, like, this darkness to keep growing. Yeah, that is, is kind of what creates um, a, an actual sustainable terrorism. Like, people are like wondering, well, what, what's Antifa? How's it going to stand? Well, in the future, Antifa gets hired by the employers to fight off this actual right-wing scourge. Because if you get rid of positive cash flow jobs, and I'll be honest, the accountants and actuaries, they will be shelved eventually. Yeah, so how are they going to get shelved? In the future, companies like Primerica, you know, Windmere, and a lot of these other weird, all state, right, will have these, a lot of these weird insurance people. They'll deploy their own little private military contractor insurance firms, and they're going to create their own pools. They did this back with, during the days when they shelved out underwriting, right? So you notice in the SOA for, this is a big deal. Um, because if it's done wrong, we're going to actually see an actual war, War Three within the United States. Because everyone's pressuring people to go to school. Right? Because if you fail, right, how are you also going to get employed? No one wants to start a business. Right? No parent's going to take the chance on that. There's no guarantee of anything. There used to be a guarantee in the back of the day. And that's because people gaslighted themselves on what actually made money back in the day. Right? So I put this car engine on because I want to show you that people expect the... So let's say... So the economy... They don't... So here's the, here's the default state of the economy. It's just no engine running. This, but but reality is, people think it always runs with gears on. That's what people assume it was. We've always been on fuel because the employers are always throwing money at the at, at, like by by giving this perpetual guarantee that there's going to be jobs that will give you pay regardless of whether you make sales or not. I've always known that copywriting is essential, but that doesn't mean they're going to generate any returns, right? I saw some of these copywriters on MailChimp, they're like $120 an hour or some shit. I don't know if it's any real value for me. 
Oh shit, if you I, I'm willing to pay up if you're willing to give me a positive ROI. Oh no, that would be my best Christmas gift ever. I'll, I'll beg my mom and dad. I don't know if any of it's real. No, you have these high price tags, but like you have to produce results, right? Sales is the most important job ever. So why why is this a big deal? Why why are the exams getting harder? It's because they're ready to shelf people out right now, right? MLC is getting harder and harder. They're changing their mind. So a lot of these shifty underwriters who got into the high school route, right? They went to high school and then they became an actuary without the degree. They're thinking they may want their own little private group, right? Because you don't need a bunch of actuaries to make the firm work, right? No, you don't. You just need them to go to remote. Right? They just need to sell some insurance products from the past, right? Keep update, get some programmers, just get some patches, right? They have options to bounce, right? Data science and, uh, because actuaries think of insurance policies all the time. They have data science and they have programmers as insurance backups. They can just teach them the skills. That's what underwriters did back in the day. It's easy to learn. Yeah, they're just like, well, I hate insurance, but I'll force you to go into it because uh, I'm smart. I have money. You don't. You spend too much. You're my slave now. Right, you're my bitch. That's how the actuaries, the, the future ones, get out, get killed. Seriously, they don't work for pay for a cup for like a year, right? I'll give you food stamp, then I'll give you six figures. Because you're in a more desperate position. It's like, oh, I hate insurance. Oh, well, you got no choice there, buddy. Here's the chains, right? Insurance firms do that. They don't want to talk about it. Oh, no, they don't. They're more sneakier. They're more. They're they. They're never honest about anything. They know they're lying. Have you ever ever seen a, uh, an uh, uh, ascension meeting or any of these big firms coming by? I don't remember the names of any of them, but have you ever seen any of them? They they all look like they're in on the lie. Like the insurance people are insanely sneaky. They just drink beer. And it's like, hey, we're friends. We're looking for actuaries to hire, right? But in their, their back of their mind, at least they, they know there's always like top two. They always vouch. Like I vouch for you two to be my top lieutenant commander, right? In chief. You're the master, you're the mastermind guy, right? You uh, you give me a strategy to uh, make my dole. I'm, because I, I'm dodging legal loopholes. You have one of those people in those terms, right? Computer programmers, not really. They might create loopholes in the program, but not anything like dodging financial loopholes. Because the, the lawyers always work with the accountants, I think, for the most part. So they're they're well aware they need to have a backup plan. Right. I, my theory was that the reason why Hillary got her servers bleached because they purposely convinced her to get an unsecure server so they can ream money from her. Ken is like, well, I need my billions of dollars, too. That is what happens. You, you're you an accountant. You, you do this shifty stuff. You learn how to be a shady backstabber. Huh, how do I get Bill Clinton to open a security loophole for me? I'm going to give him some beautiful women. I saved up a couple mil, created a sex ring. No, you're an accountant. You do do that stuff to get your cash. It goes both ways. You think you, the politician, are the sneakiest player in the game? Like, the less you, you champion people, I like, the more you get this bullshit. <laughs> It shows up on the news before you know it. This asshole accountant who's never on TV. It's true. You know it's true. They just run away. They all do that because they're not paid enough. Oh, Clinton, how much money has he lost in that scandal? Quite a bit. Enough for him to retire on a yacht, right? He doesn't care. And then the next thing they'll know is they'll kill the other accountants, right? Because they don't care. They're just here to get rich. And in, in, in their best but ass fat, uh, their best money friends. I'm going to censor myself on that term. This is, by the way, the fact the, the term, uh, that A word, is banned, is a very soft society. Now, I'm getting banned for, like, some of the dumbest things on YouTube right now. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. But, uh... Yeah, I was just banned on like a way that's been proven because of World War II where Hitler about creating philosopher's stones. That was his whole scheme, right? Of killing people. That got banned. They apparently banned drinking water. I, I don't I don't really know why people talk why people ban shit. Yeah, um yeah, I'm gonna be a little late. I apologize. I'm gonna make this a ten minute podcast. Yeah, I'm gonna cut off and say in the future they'll kill they'll they will. Um they'll they'll do it by getting high school graduates, right? from low-income family they do this a lot and then they create their own little army right and then they shove all the rest of the bachelor's degree and then all of a sudden why yeah they, they just don't tell the college board about it that's what they do 
and that way they can trap them and maybe later on the line once they're like six figures in debt doing dumb stuff they'll uh force them to go work for them right they look for a low credit score oh it's a beautiful scam yeah they do that and then you as the college graduate wonder what the fuck's going on Yeah, you will. They will. They already down. They already killed the Clintons. They already played a role in killing the Epstein's, the accountants. Who else are they going to take down next? Right? The actuaries, the sneaky ones. Right? Who learn fast, bump around, act like little very spiders. Right? Yeah, they will. Um, and there will be no accountants. There will be no actuaries. They'll shelve them all, and they'll give it to the rich people. They'll be independent contractors. Right? You have to pay them maybe six figures. Same same fee, right? You might have to wait longer, but people don't care. They just want to call the insurance. Oh, all right, 